So Davy has just done another potato war. So this is part two and I'm actually going to be participating in this one. So we're going to go ahead and actually build a massive farm. So like we're going to go buy a bunch of potatoes real quick and we're going to probably set up like not an AFK farm but probably like one where I can AFK but not with like crates or anything. Since I feel like auto harvesting is way faster than actually using crates or something. Alright, so we're gonna buy around 2,000 of these seeds. What is 600,000 coins gone? Alright, so we're gonna build it somewhere over here, but we've gotta build the platform first. <laughs> Okay, so now we've placed at least around 2,000 blocks, and now I'm gonna actually build the actual design. Hey, we got the new flower already. Wow, this is a way to get the new flower, at least, if you want to try and get it. But basically, how this farm is gonna work is this blocks are all gonna be placed along this right here, and then it will zigzag it way upwards. Then once it's finished zigzagging like so, it will go all the way back down and then restart. And now I'll set up a macro to actually auto farm this and we'll have all like the crops right below its feet and you'll see what I mean in a second. So basically I've just set up a tiny little demonstration right here. And if I actually get out some potato seeds, what I bought 2,000 of before, what we can go ahead and do is actually plow all of this, and then it will be placed right here. And then these potatoes, we can go ahead and hold F, and then we can just get an auto clicker, and then we can go ahead and set up a macro as well. And it looks like we've run out of grass, so yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and buy a fair bit, a little bit more. Now, hopefully, this farm is big enough, so then I can go ahead and do one full run, and then by the time I've looped back around, it will be fully, like, grown again. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy 4,000. And there we go, we have completely built the full farm. And now it's just time to go ahead and plow all of this. <laughs> yeah, wish me luck. And there we go, we've just done all of the plowing <laughs> needed for this farm. And oh my goodness, that took a fair while. Now, now it's time to actually go ahead and plant all these potato seeds. Okay, so we've just gone ahead and planted everything, and it's around a 1,100 seed farm. So I didn't really need to buy 2,000 of them. So now we're just going to go ahead and wait for all of them to grow, and then we're going to actually go ahead and set up the macro. Alright, so it's like another, like, I think it's like seven hours later, since I kind of like when I was recording it, like, the, the, the tiny task thing was not working out, I had to record it like five other times, and then, yeah, it didn't work out, so now we're back. I've got the tiny task thing set up, but yeah, I've already got 19,000 potatoes, and we're in hardcore mode, and it hasn't even been that long, so we're going to probably AFK the this overnight and see how many we get. Alrighty, so it is the next day and I have K'd all night and I already have 348,000 potatoes. And now, and now this is my farm right now, it's got a bunch of flowers over it, but if we actually go into DV's Discord server, and we scroll all the way down to Great Potato War 2, I posted this on Twitter. So apparently, on Core Islands, not Hardcore, there is Rice is Godly in 89k potatoes. Then we have the third, DD Doja 2VBZ with 69k. They're not a huge stretch in between those players. But then on Hardcore, me with 180,000 potatoes harvested. And the person in third place that doesn't show second place is Lady Lula with 34k. So there could be a person right near me, but I'm not sure. But it looks like I'm in the lead right now. 
um, with my <laughs> tweet right there. So yeah, I, I definitely think I could win this. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Now, if you enjoyed this series, make sure to drop a like to let me know if I should do another episode on this.